What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Dreamcade replay and we're gonna test out some 3DO emulation on this device. Now while you can go into the Dreamcade front end here and add your own emulator, I actually just really didn't feel like doing it. It is possible to add different emulators that didn't come pre-configured on the Dreamcade replay. Just go to the add emulator wizard. It's gonna ask you a few questions, where your ROMs are located, where the emulator's located, and it'll easily set up a custom emulator. But for this video, I'm just going to be launching these games through RetroArch. Now, the emulator, or the core I'm using, is 4DO. Works really well as long as you have a CPU that can handle it. Got a bunch of games to test here. If you're not familiar with the Dreamcade replay, I have made some other videos. I'll leave links in the description. I've done an unboxing video, some Sega Dreamcast and Sega Saturn testing. Basically, it's a mini PC with a dual core Celeron at 2.4 GHz, and the whole system is pretty much tailored towards emulation. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First game for 3DO is Gex. Now for this game, I did turn the music off, but as you can hear, the sound effects are working. The FPS is listed in the lower left hand corner. As you can see, it's running at 60 FPS or 59.9 FPS. I think that's close enough to 60. But the whole game still feels a little bit choppy. You might be able to notice it in the video. It seems like it's moving kind of frame by frame. I'm not sure if this is exactly how it was on the original 3DO or not. Next game I wanted to test was Jurassic Park Interactive. When I was younger, I never had a 3DO. They were way too expensive for my family to afford something like this. I never got the chance to play this game. Now this FPS counter, I believe, is a little off with this game here. It will drop down in just a second, but if you listen to the sound, it's actually really bad. We're at 60 FPS, but right in the middle, it abruptly drops to 35.7. I believe the counter just needed a little time to catch up. When we went into this gameplay, I guess you could call it gameplay, it wasn't running at 60 FPS. It was always running at this 35 FPS. But in the menus, 60 was fine. I was really curious what was going on here, so for the next game I'm going to test, I'm only going to go window mode, and I'm going to bring up the task manager so we can see what the CPU and GPU are doing while we're playing a game. As you can see, over on the right hand side, I do have the CPU usage listed. It has maxed out both cores. GPU down at the very bottom is only at 20%. These emulators are very CPU dependent. I think this boils down to the CPU not being powerful enough to run this emulator. This CPU does turbo up to 2.4 GHz and you'll see 2.37, 2.35, we're close enough there. Even at 2.4, it's not going to give it enough juice to run this at full speed. And in each one of these 3DO games that was performing badly in the 4DO emulator, I had a lot of popping and clicking in the audio. You might be able to hear it here. It's really bad. It's not due to the game capture card that I'm using. This came straight out of my TV speakers. This is Need for Speed, only at 42 FPS. 
So one thing I also did was disable Windows Defender. I went ahead and closed down every application that I could just to make sure we were getting enough CPU usage only on the emulator. And after all of that was said and done, we're still only at 54 FPS. When we go back to cockpit view, it does drop down even more. I had to test a few fighting games, so here's Primal Rage. Looks really good. Looks a lot better than the SNES version. It's basically at full speed. You will see it dip down to about 56 FPS every once in a while, but overall, I mean, it's performing pretty well. Whenever I hear anybody mention the 3DO system, first game I think of is Road Rash, so we have to test it. Running really good. I did play this a lot longer than I'll show you here, and the game never dropped below 59 FPS, so this is a game you will be able to emulate using the 4DO emulator in RetroArch on the Dreamcade replay. The final game I wanted to test in this video was Samurai Showdown. Now I understand that this wasn't the best port of Samurai Showdown. It was kind of bad on the original 3DO hardware, but we're at 60 FPS, it's performing really good. So basically, it's hit or miss with 3DO emulation on the Dreamcade Replay. Some games are going to work great, some games are going to perform horribly. To be fair, the developers of the Dreamcade Replay never mention anything about 3DO emulation. I make these videos because I don't want people to buy this thinking they're getting something more than it is. There are tons of emulators that work perfectly on the Dreamcade Replay with thousands and thousands of retro games that'll play fine. But if you're trying to get into one of these for GameCube, Dreamcast, PS2, 3DO, 3DS, it just won't handle it. This is a very low-end Celeron CPU at 2.4 GHz with 4 GB of RAM. But overall, it's not a bad system. If you can pick one up for $129.99 from their website, this will do thousands and thousands of retro games perfectly. It does N64 really well, PSP, excluding a few games. The Dreamcade Replay is perfect for lower-end emulators. If you're looking for anything more than that, then you'll probably be disappointed with the unit. It is what it is, and it does a lot of stuff really well. If you guys want to see some more stuff running on the Dreamcade Replay, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what emulators and what games you want to see running. I did do a test on Dreamcast and Sega Saturn. I've also done an unboxing video with a few other emulators in there. I'll leave a link in the description to a playlist with all of my Dreamcade Replay videos in it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.